Hi guys, this is Jason, SoCal Television, Top Rated Tech. We're going to review this for Get Tech Smart Future Podcast, but you guys are going to get an early insight view of the Epson Workforce Pro WF3820, 3820. Let's check it out. Okay, so first off, you're going to have your ink cartridges that it comes with. We'll set those aside. Then you're gonna have your installation disc for with your drivers and all that good stuff. And then we have the wonderful Epson Workforce Pro 3820 right here. And there you go, the Epson Workforce Pro 3820. Let's install it right now. Okay, now we're gonna set the time. So we will go. And we will click OK. And there, there you go. Now it's gonna be scooting out the ink cartridges so we can install them. As you can see, the ink cartridges, they were over here. But once we configured the basic settings of date, time, English, where you're located in the world, then the ink cartridges does a little slide out where it slides over here and then slides back to here in the opening where you can install your ink cartridges. So let's install those now. Now, like I said before, you're gonna to wanna to be shaking them up. And then they're just gonna pop right in. So we'll start with, we'll go from left to right. Let's start with the black one I got right here. Now you don't want to touch this area right here. Never touch that area. That can mess up your ink cartridge and your printer. It's not good to get your oils from your fingers onto that. All you need to do is you need to remove the yellow tape. Now you're going to insert it in here. Remember, do not touch this area. Do not touch this area. Only thing you need to do is remove this little yellow piece of tape here. And then it's going to go like this with the QR code up in here like this. And we're going to do the cayenne. You're just going to slide it straight down until it clicks in. Just like that. Shake the cartridge. Like I said, the QR code is going to go towards the back, but it's going to go straight down into the, the slot here. You don't have to angle it in to pop it in. You pop it straight down in. Last but not least, do the yellow. Now they're all clicked in, ready to go. So now all you have to do is close the, the scanner bay door or the front door. It's gonna clip down. And now it's gonna say processing here on the little touch screen. It's gonna put the ink back where it needs to go in place. And it's gonna purge the, the ink to make sure it, there's no air in the ink and, and all that stuff that we don't want. So this will take a little bit. So it'll take about five minutes. So we'll come back after it's done. Okay, ink's done charging. So now next what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to lower the display, just like so. You're gonna lift this paper catcher here. And you're gonna slide out a 
paper tray door, like so. Set it to your suggested, it has little markings here to set where you need to have for the uh, paper, size paper that you have. So this is just gonna slide over to where you need it. Let's do that now. There's a little piece of tape in here that I didn't remove yet, so let's take care of that. Now, should be able to slide these out. Yes, we sure can. Slide them out and slide this down. And we're gonna go with the eight by 10. Like so. Slide right back here. And this is going to slide back to there. And you just lock it into place. Now that should be good. Let's slide the sides in so it's nice and tight. And then slide the paper drawer back in. Lift this up while you slide it in. And then lock that down. Click OK to complete. OK again. You just did the paper. Now we're going to set the paper size here and the type of paper. And then click OK. Fax Wizard, if you want to set it up to a fax, I don't know how many people use those these days, but go ahead. We're going to skip that and do that later. Then it's going to have a confirmation that you do not want to set up your fax. Correct, we do not. Now we're at the main page, main uh, screen, home screen here. So let's install the print driver into the computer now. Okay, so now we're going to go through the install agreement. Let's go next. It's going to download the drivers and all that kind of good stuff to our computer, and we'll be good to go. We'll come back in just a little bit when it's done. Now we're going to hook it up to Wi-Fi, you're going to click this button right up here, at the very top. And then we're going to fill out the settings for our Wi-Fi. Okay, now you just finished with the installation of the software. After you finish, there's going to be a button that pops up that says print test page. And you're going to get something like this. Now, right here, it tells you to download the Epson iPrint this one right here. So we're going to download that so we'll be able to print from our mobile phone wirelessly straight to the Epson Workforce Pro WF3820. Alright, here it is. It's already installed. And let's open it up. Boom. Go through all their terms and agreements. We'll click Agree. Go through the usage statement, click agree, and close that. Okay, allow access to Bluetooth. Okay, now in the app, after you've finished allowing access to Bluetooth and all the other terms and agreements, right up at the top printer is not selected. So you just go ahead and select that. And there you go. There's your Epson Pro Workforce 3820. And just click on that. Boom. There we go. Alright. Now you're ready. Gives you your inks. All that. Now you have to allow, and there's your photos. All right, so let's print this one of my beautiful puppy. Let's see here. 
that's my beautiful puppy when she was a puppy. Let's print it. We go up here to select, right there, so it's selected. That enables the next, click next. And now let's see here. Down here in the print, let's just fire it off. Print. Now it's sending it, boom. There you have it guys, check it out. So that's our review of the Epson Workforce Pro. WF3820. Jason James, top rated tech. Be sure to follow the Get Tech Smart podcast on all of your podcast platforms. And if you'd like to get one of your Epson Workforce Pro WF3820 printers for yourself, there's a link in the description. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.